welcome to my channel my name is Ashley Morgan welcome so today we are making a brown buttered milk bread sweet potato pie filling in the middle cinnamon roll that's a mouthful and so we're gonna just try it out I've never made this before <laughs> so this is an experiment if it don't come out good I'm sorry <laughs> you will never see it <laughs> So in this bowl, I'm going to add my wet ingredients first. The first thing I'm going to do is crack my egg because, you know, make sure there's no shells in that. Then after that, I'm going to go ahead and add my almond milk, sugar, I'm going to throw my salt in here as well, some instant rapid rice yeast because again, we don't have time to be waiting for things to prove. <laughs> Nobody has time for that. So then I'm gonna take my bread flour and I'm just gonna pour this in here. And I'm just gonna mix that together. Those coming together, I'm actually gonna go ahead and use my hands. Okay, so now that my dough is kind of soft, I have a tablespoon of butter and with two hands I'm going to put a little oil on my hand so that it won't stick to me that easily instead of flour and because I don't have a stand mixer I have to do this by hand and so this dough is very sticky so I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of just break that butter into the dough and so it's starting to get it's starting to come together a lot better this is not easy to do Takes a lot of work. A stand mixer is necessary. So I place my dough back into the bowl and it's still very sticky, but I'm just gonna go ahead and let it rest for about an hour. Okay, so in this pan, I'm gonna brown my butter. So basically what we're looking to do is to just brown the butter slowly. I will take my time. I'm gonna also skim some of that foam off the top as much as I can get off. And then we're just gonna let the butter continue to brown. So my butter is now browned. In this pan, we're gonna go ahead and make our, our filling two tablespoons of brown sugar, two tablespoons of white sugar, two tablespoons of cornstarch, one fourth tablespoon of salt, a half tablespoon of cinnamon, one fourth teaspoon of ground nutmeg, one fourth teaspoon of ground ginger. Go ahead and mix that together. I'm gonna go ahead and add cold milk, two egg yolks, as well as my brown butter. I'm gonna go ahead and whisk that all together. When it's thoroughly combined, I'm going to turn on the stove and we're going to whisk vigorously until it thickens. Okay, it's starting to thicken and it happens fairly quickly. So again, at this point, I will turn off the stove and just let the residual heat start to cook it. And that is your pastry cream base. Once it has thickened, I add some vanilla to it. And so we're going to take this and transfer it to our sweet potatoes. And then we're just gonna mix our sweet potatoes into this mixture. I'm going to strain this because I am not filling the fibers that come from the actual sweet potato. Lightly dust my cutting board. This is my dough. It has definitely doubled in size and it is also very sticky still. So we're definitely going to need that flour. It's so soft. Okay. And we're just gonna roll it out. As usual, we're gonna spread a small thin layer of butter onto the pastry. I don't want to add a lot because I still have that cinnamon roll mixture and so I'm just going to spread about a tablespoon across. And we're just gonna leave like the bottom edge. We're not gonna put any butter on that part because we want to be able to tuck it and crimp it. And then I have a mixture of cinnamon, nutmeg, brown sugar, and white sugar. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just generously added onto the dough. Please remember that we did not add a lot of sugar to the pastry cream over there and so it's not really that sweet. We have a layer of cinnamon sugar and then we're just gonna dollop this all over and then try to spread it out. I'm 
a little nervous. <laughs> I don't really know. I'm not gonna go all the way to the edge down there. I'm just gonna keep it towards the top portion of it. Just gonna go ahead and just try to spread it all into a thin, even layer. I'm so nervous. <laughs> I am so nervous about this. Hold on. This is all a concept. Normally the concepts in my head have come out pretty good when I make it, but I'm, it's literally trial and error as I go. I don't really have recipes that I'm sticking to for real. All right, all right, all right, all right, we can't get somewhere, we can't somewhere, we can't somewhere. Okay, so then we're just gonna go ahead and roll this. Oh Lord. I'm nervous. Lightly roll it, I don't want it to be. I don't want the filling to come through. <laughs> oh my gosh, who thought this was a good idea? I did. It's working, it's working, it's working, it's working, it's working. Let's see. Not the prettiest, but she gets the job done. Okay, that's my cinnamon roll. I try to squish it together. So I'm gonna cut the ends off because I really need that. How am I gonna do this? I don't even know. It's so soft that it's just hard to like, Okay, um, I was gonna cut like and so let's see, let's see, let's see. This is gonna be messy, I can already tell. I think I didn't roll it tight enough, or maybe the dough is just too soft, I don't know, but this is what I have. I don't really like how that looks, but I'm gonna let it rise and see what happens. <laughs> let them proof for about 20 minutes and this is how they look so i'm going to go ahead and bake this and see how this comes out i am nervous but i know from what i've tasted so far that it's going to be pretty good and so let's go and this is what we have y'all these look so pretty look at them oh i'm so proud i'm a proud mother <laughs> i'm scared to do this when this is hot but i really want to see what this does and so I'm just gonna take one out and pull it apart and see how that looks. Oh my god, that's so pretty. And so, whew, you can you can literally see the, the filling like oozing out. That's so cool. It looks pretty good and it tastes pretty good. And it's a wrap. We're finished. They came out pretty good. I'm really happy about how they came out. And if there are any ideas that you have for fusions, let me know and I can probably make it happen. Thank you guys for watching. I love you all so much. Deuces.